Should buffalo wings and frosting be a thing? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're discovering what's the next best thing to dip and dunk your chicken wings into when all mm -hmm. your ranch and blue cheese dip has flown the coop. Yeah, and today's episode is sponsored by BetterHelp, the world's largest online counseling platform. If you've listened to our podcast, Dear Biscuits, you know we're huge proponents of self-care and prioritizing your own mental health. And if you've been feeling like something is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Yeah, with their network of over 15,000 licensed and accredited counselors, BetterHelp offers a broad range of expertise. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll receive timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you don't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room reading old magazines about the dangers of Y2K. Yeah, I spent way too much money on that sweet Y2K bunker. <laughs> BetterHelp is so committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional online counseling and financial aid is available. Visit betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning, that's better H-E-L-P, and join the over one million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of a licensed professional counselor. And Mythical Beasts, you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash goodmythicalmorning. Once again, that's better H-E-L-P. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring that portion of today's episode. Now, we've been told that there's no better game day combo than a heaping mound of buffalo wings with a cool side of ranch, or my preference, blue mm -hmm. cheese dip, but have we been fed a spicy lie? Today we aim to discover if ranch and blue cheese have a delicious but still secret substitute. It's time for Next Best Thing, Wings and Ranch Edition. Okay, to determine the next true best thing, we're gonna try a bunch of different sauces and dips and spreads with our buffalo wings, because we've told the mythical kitcheneers to get totally crazy with it, to try combinations that have heretofore never existed in the history of the uh, world. Okay, that's overstating it. Uh, just things that are not commonly tried. Because, and, and just to remind ourselves of what the standards are, you've got ranch. You don't think the things that we're gonna try have been? Have, Somebody, have been I mean, people have done, have done everything. I don't man. think there's so. A lot, there's a lot of people in the world. You've got ranch, I've got blue cheese. Never before. Um, I, I, I like ranch a lot. Baselines. But I'm just going with what I like best here. You got the hotness of the wing. You've got the, the saucy, tangy, there's a balance here. Balancedness you know? of the of the ranch. But this has been done so many times before. Let's try something weird. It's good though. The question is, will this first combo leave our flavor flickers feeling sweet or salty or both? It's buffalo wings and salted caramel or caramel if you say it wrong. <laughs> So, you know, I don't want to go too hard with it. It's just Because like it a, feels like it's going to be intense. Ooh, that is, that is stringy caramel. Caramel. Hmm. Hold on a second. It's making Stop it, the bus. Are we on a bus? Hey, stop the bus. Y'all don't leave without me. You got to pull the thing if you want to stop the bus. No, I'm on the, I'm, I, I'm at the bus stop. And I got there a little bit late. And they started pulling away. I said, hold on. That's what I'm saying. Oh, well, I'm on the bus and I'm pulling the string. Pull it. So this it, is better than I thought it was gonna be. It's like a dessert wing. The saltiness with the caramel brings it closer to working with a wing, but it doesn't clash at all with the savoriness of the chicken. It's definitely the best thing we've had so far, besides ranch and blue cheese. <laughs> so we're gonna put it up on the podium. But this this might be tough to topple. I mean, tough to topple. Yes. It's uh, again. It is a dessert wing, though, which is a new thing, in my opinion. Oh, I thought you were gonna rhyme that. Dessert wing, a new thing, in my opinion. Hollandaise sauce on huh. your wing? What is, it? what is in hollandaise sauce? What is, what is it? A traditional hollandaise sauce is an emulsification of clarified butter and egg yolk, but I don't know what's in that canned stuff, honestly. <laughs> I have no idea. So it's clarified butter. Well, I mean. Can you clarify what, that for what, me? Yeah. <laughs> Dip it. Yeah, clear, I like I like fine, Nicole, don't hold I, back. I can't. I'm what so clarifies hungry. butter? I think it's when you take the fat. Yeah, it's whenever butter. you cook it down and then you remove the milk solids. It's like ghee. It's very similar, yes. It's basically brunch gravy. 
That's how I think of hollandaise. I'm moving on to the I'm flat just, wing here. I'm just gonna eat it with my finger. Hollandaise, it, it's, there's lemon in it. it has yeah, a little bit of acid there's a little bit of lemon. So it's got, a, it has a lemon pepper mm. flavor to it. Which is nice on a wing. I like a lemon garlic wing. Which is already a thing, right? Something about the egg yolk is doing weird things for me. It's not bad. It adds to the richness, but I kind of want to leave this up here because it's so different. You know, it's unexpected. I don't just kind of want to leave it. I definitely want to leave it up there. Yes, yeah, so it's ho better. Holland days had its had its had, had its, its moment. days in the sun. Yeah, had its moment in the the sun. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, days in the sun. Here's the day, Holland days. Yeah. Night, night, holiday. There you go. All right, so when you combine marshmallow fluff with peanut butter, you get a fluffer nutter. What about a buffalo nutter? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, the name. Is, is that what we're trying right now, a buffalo nutter? I don't. It made me laugh. I think the problem <laughs> is, is that the, 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 <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? I laughed. I don't like when you point at yourself and laugh like a, a robot. Uh, we're gonna just, it's, there's no nutter actually, because it's just buffalo. Uh, it's just <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know what, please make embarrassing memes of him doing that. So he learns his lesson. All right, so this, this will be another dessert wing situation. Well, that's a lot of fluffer nut. Mmm. Mm. Again, I'm comparing it against the, the, the golden standard that we've established here, literally golden standard of salted caramel. These are two sides of a chasm. You that, think they reach? That, that we've smushed together with some sort of tectonic shift. Remember when I wrote that novel in elementary school? And it was about that group of people that woke up in that place, in that city, and there were all those cattle that had been bred to have really short legs, and they got together, they teamed up, and they walked. And when they came to the chasm, you stopped I writing. stopped writing. Because yeah, I, I, like, I didn't know how to get them across the chasm. And this isn't doing it either. It's, yeah. it's just it's too it's just too far. Yeah. Te tectonic shifts and are just not enough to bring this together. The salted caramel is staying. Marshmallow fluff. We've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. Surf and turf is traditionally steak and lobster, but there's no reason why it can't be buffalo chicken wings and salmon cream cheese, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, uh-huh. Right? Yeah. I, listen, I've got high hopes for this one because it's got the creaminess of like a ranch, but then the addition of salmon. Nobody saw that coming. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid. I'm gonna do my sawing motion here so I don't get too much on it. This is good. What? <laughs> Are you crazy? You don't like it? It's it's vile. I like it. Now I don't. I didn't know salmon cream cheese was a thing. Honestly. Well, well welcome to the show. <laughs> the cream cheesiness of it is. I like the consistency. It seems to work. There's you can get a nice coating. And you what know about the fishiness. The fishiness is okay because I'm thinking of that whole surf and turf thing. All right. Nicole. I mean, Nicole hates it. Yeah, my piano teacher used to eat it with a spoon while I was practicing. So oh. I, have some, I have bad memories. And like breathe over your shoulder. Uh -huh, yeah. Like, that's okay. A well, that, yeah. That's a that's a personal issue that you need to sort out with yourself, and maybe call your piano teacher. Um, it works in the same way that ranch is. There's a there's a rich uh, savoriness to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's no salted caramel. <laughs> you don't think? I mean. I mean, I don't. I think it. I think uh, it could inch it because, to, to me, the sweetness is. This is a gimmick, but this is a could be a legitimacy. I do not believe that most people will come for that um, for that ride. Come along for that ride. Well, I'm going to defer to Nicole, not to you, and I'll I'll leave the salted caramel up there. Yeah, I feel good about that. I know you do. Will this next dip get our taste buds humming? Because it's hummus. Ha, mm -hmm. I get it. Now, my, I gotta say, what's happening in my stomach right now? Is it good? Is it's a like little, it? it's a little strange. It just feels weird down there. Is it because but, you just had salmon, uh, cream cheese on chicken wings? Well, with everything else before it, yeah. But I, this makes sense. I mean, if you order like a rotisserie chicken from one of these rotisserie chicken places around here, you're gonna get some hummus you're with that. You're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Even if you don't ask for it. Sometimes you say no hummus, they say yes hummus. <laughs> Chew. 
choo choo. I like hummus. Now, I like hot now, wings. Now I'm trying to catch the train. <laughs> because the train. The is, train was leaving the, the bus, station. The bus dropped you off at the train station. And I hurdled over the turnstile, which is technically illegal. But they're like, he's late for the train, let it slide. The hummus helps with the spicy. Yeah, it does. This is good. And let me tell you something about salted caramel. It's great, but I, I don't know if I could here. do a whole meal. No, because it, it's a dessert wing. It's one wing at the end. It's just one wing at the end. One wing at the end. So I think it's gotta be toppled. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you can eat a whole basket of the hummus wings. There it is. Hummus takes the lead. A bald cupcake begs for vanilla frosting. Could a bald wing do the same? Well, listen closely and find out. He's begging for something. Might still be hummus though. Now you would think that you might just have dipped in ranch. Right, from a, from a visual perspective, no one's gonna Thick judge ranch. you from across the tables. Well, you're, you went hard. Yeah. Um, okay. The chasm is coming back in my mind. What it doesn't have is the salt from the salted caramel. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have, you're on one side of the chasm, I'm yep. on the other side of the chasm. The, so, the, you're, the saltiness. You're the icing, I'm the buffalo wing. We throw ropes at each other. They almost touch. Oh. Fall down. That's what just happened. Oh. Right. But I'm still gonna have another bite. Did they oh. touch? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like the frosting, yeah. and I like the wing. It, it, it's nasty together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, buffalo wings with vodka sauce. I, there's potential here, right? I mean, you it have a, feels like a way. vodka sauce pasta with some chicken in it. I mean, that definitely happens, right, Nicole? That's, that's happened. Big time, all the time. Is that happening for you right now? Right now. No, it's not. I'm looking at you. Well, it's you not know. happening right well, now. I'm just, you know, just talking to some other <laughs> stuff. <laughs> did you go easy with the dip? I, I did about like that. It's like chicken parm. It's, yeah. like, it's like a spicy chicken parm. Well, I think this is better than marinara on, on a wing because there's a, it's just, wow. it's okay. a little more creative, you know? Okay. I don't feel like people are thinking hmm. about doing this, but now that we're doing it. They're thinking about it. I mean, the sauce isn't hot. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, I left it room temp. Okay. <laughs> yep. I think if it was heated up, it would be no yeah. contest. Yeah, did you think about that? Uh, no. You yeah. didn't even think about it. You want me to put it in the microwave for <laughs> no, two seconds? I, no, I can imagine. Oh, no. I can imagine what it would taste like if it was warm. Yeah, and if it was, then it's better than hummus. It's better than hummus. And the, but the, uh, to me, the story here is the salted caramel. There was a lot of because rhythm in what you just did. Oh yeah? yeah. Loop it, loop it. Uh, duet that on TikTok. I see whatever. this. <laughs> I see this as a chicken parm in your hand because you get, vodka sauce is basically marinara with some cream in it, right? Is that what's happening? Pretty much, yeah. So you get the cream, you get like the cheese from the uh, chicken parm. The only thing you don't get, and you uh, you even get the crust a little bit with this chi chicken skin. Yeah, we, we've got a winner. We've got a winner in the vodka sauce, congratulations. But we gotta give another shout out to that salty, caramelly dark horse candidate. What you gotta do right now, you gotta go. You gotta get yourself some buffalo wings. You gotta get yourself some vodka sauce. You say, how many wings am I eating today? I'm eating 12. 15. You do, oh, 15. <laughs> you do 14 wings with this, and then you know what you do? You break out that salted caramel and you take one, one wing. Take your time. And then you see that there's a chasm, but you know what? You can cross it. It'll be like this. Right there, dip it in and put it down. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, this is Gallo and I'm in Seattle, Washington where we're currently experiencing our first snow day. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Mm. <laughs> mm. Beautiful, click, beautiful. Click the top link to watch us turn our discarded buffalo wings into beautiful jewelry and then look at the more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Protect yourself and others around you with our mythical neon face masks. Available now at mythical.com.